Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It's, uh, oh, I should have put up, put this up. There you go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. And uh, today should be a really fun stream. I'm going to do a couple normal games, and then I'm going to throw in a little Christmas segment. There's a couple of Christmas things that I picked out, so... <laughs> Hello, Foxtrot. All right, let's get back to the capture. And we're just going to jump right in. I have been playing this game on my own since I streamed it. Um, so we're just going to jump in as some battles. What can I cook? That sounds good. It looks, it looks delicious. Zelda. I haven't played a Zelda on the stream yet, so this should be fun. <laughs> In fact, I hadn't played as her at all until last night. She's a, she's a very interesting character in this. As you will see shortly. If you have not seen it yourself already elsewhere. <laughs> there they go. Hi, Chroma. We're playing as Zelda. She just fights using the, like, whatever they were called, the powers from the, the tablet thing. Which, she can do that. Whoops. Boom. She's a little bit weird. She's more complicated than the other characters. Boom. There we go. She just uses them all. <laughs> what I want to know is where she constantly gets all these metal boxes for the uh, Magnesis ability. Zelda gives them a powerful cubing, Chroma says. <laughs> Ouch. Look at this move, though. What? Interrupted it? Excuse me. There. Got him. The Hylian captain has been rescued. Yeah, where does she get all those metal boxes from, anyway? And I thought the ice was supposed to be made on water. As far as I remember. Now check this one out, chat. If you just use the, the bomb. Look at this. It's like a bomb that shoots bombs out of the top of it. Also, I was watching, um... I was watching Vinesauce play, uh, Bug Snacks with, uh, my friend Lynn, and also Sasha, who you probably know from the stream. Um, and I think... I think I want to play that game now. And it was really <laughs> intriguing to me. And it was, it was, like, just everything about the game was appealing, like, the little, the bugs themselves were really fun. Um, the characters are all like very likable. It seems to have an interesting story going on. Chromus is Zelda fights using Minecraft for the Switch. And her special attack is taking their picture. I 
I'm having an awful time getting the flurry rush going. There we go. Just as I say that, I managed to get one. There's a... whoops daisy. There's a particular move I keep trying to do, but I keep failing at. That one. <laughs> You press Y, Y, X, and then you get the bomb. So you gotta do it fast enough and not hit the Y three times as I often accidentally do. There we go. But yeah, just everything about Bug Snacks seems like really well put together and really enjoyable. It was like... I should probably play that. I think I would like it. Oh, Ooh, I got it. I don't know if I would stream bug snacks, but I well maybe. It's just because, like, I'm not streaming very often nowadays because I've, I've had a lot of work. Otherwise... If I was streaming stuff more, again, I would need some other games to throw in there, but... I'm not sure I'm going to have any time this year for more than two streams a week. Unless there's, like, a special occasion. Because I've got, like, three games I'm working on. Plus an extra with Cassie. Haha! -ha. Oh, I got this guy covered. The electric whiz robe. He's dead. Hey, Sasha. <laughs> well, I hope to see you again later then. can't go through there. The hell am I s oh, because I haven't killed this guy yet. But now he is dead. She does it. You see that everybody Zelda does it. Alright, time to take a picture. Take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> it's almost the most complicated character to play as that I've tried in this game so far. Which is pretty fun. Ouch, I tried to dodge that. I like how the other moblins were like elemental. This one's just blue. Hope he's dead. <laughs> Moblin guts. He, p p he kindly put his guts into a treasure chest when he died. He nice and conveniently put them in there. <laughs> I should have... This should happen more often in games. They they die and then they somehow have put their guts neatly into a treasure chest for you. <laughs> Desert Vaux headband. Well. You can put Link's hair up. Well, the stream pooped out, but only on a loading screen, so it didn't even matter. <laughs> what else can we do? 
I don't got the fish. I don't understand where I'm getting these fish from anyway, when I do have them. Daily drills, Goron. Let's play as somebody other than Zelda for this one. This one's gonna have to be Link, I think. Link, I think. It's the strongest weapon I've got. Looks like still that one. What can we cook? Sure, more health is fine. Lightly packed present of organs. <laughs> it's always weird in games when the enemies like drop slash turn into treasure chests when you kill them, though, isn't it? I've always found that weird. Like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles is the main one that I think of. <laughs> Every time you defeat an enemy, it turns into an entire treasure chest. In Xenoblade. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on getting Christmas presents for people this year, so for like the next two months, I'm like going to buy nothing. Have to fight the Gorons. Um, but eventually I would like to get bug snacks. Treasure chest is pretending to be monsters. That's the opposite of usual, isn't it? Usually like a mimic is a monster that's pretending to be a treasure chest. <laughs> I've got the opposite of that. But yeah, eventually I will buy games again. I had spent uh, four dollars to get uh, Half-Life 2 for the stream today. That wasn't too bad. Um, and I spent one dollar on getting an amiibo for this game. But that's because I had a gift card. <laughs> I wanted to get the Zelda amiibo. And um, it was $26, and I had a $25 gift card, so I was like, yeah, okay, I'll get that. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably not going to be until, like, February before I buy anything again. And then I'm only going to buy, like, a couple things. So it's probably going to be a while until I have money to get bug snacks. This move. This is probably my favorite move in the game still. The shield sliding. Here we go. Half the time limit remains. I need to kill more Gorons! Boy, that sounds weird. Why do I have to kill them? I don't want to kill them. I like that they come in different colors. That's a nice touch. I don't know if they came in different colors in Breath of the Wild. I don't think you see this many Gorons in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna say, where are they? Where are all the Gorons in Breath of the Wild? Well, they probably died right now, right? Right here, we're witnessing when all of the Gorons died at the hands of Link. In the name of training exercises, apparently. I thought it was Calamity Ganon's forces who uh, took out the Gorons. Well, you are mistaken. It was Link. Still need another hundred, huh? Our 
frames dropping on my end. Not at the moment. I mean, this game runs kind of chunky. It might just be the game. It's hard to say. gonna make it. I'm gonna have to do this one again. I'm gonna have to be more efficient. Damn. I'm gonna have to do this more efficiently. Alright. Boom. Witnessing the demise of the Gorons. At the hands of Link. <laughs> Something I miss, something I noticed is missing from this Hyrule Warriors that I remember in the other one I played was um, rather than just like the the bases that you capture, there used to be like little outposts where like there would be like a captain standing there and you could capture those as well, and they would be like little extra troops that would show up. I haven't seen the outposts in this game. It's only been the base camps. I'm not sure why. Okay, Chroma. <laughs> ah. Get this guy. He's gotten. Lizzle spear. It just sounds like one of those like cutesy ways people like to say the word lizard. A lizard. A lizard. <laughs> you know, little cutesy words like that. Wow, I haven't taken any damage this time. That's pretty good. All right, everybody. Goodbye. Wow, that didn't even knock anybody out. How strong are these Gorons? Well, I guess they are rocks, aren't they? Also, look at the- they all have one fist out, ready to punch. Did you notice that? They're all like walking around, holding one fist out. Or, well, some of them are. <laughs> They're ready to punch at all times, but with one fist. Get back up there, Link. Everybody's waiting for you. Their little voices as they're getting hit. <laughs> there we go, I got a hundred. Ouch. Almost time for a big attack again. Ooh, that was a big move. Alright, here we go. Y'all ready to die? You better be. trying. I'm only halfway there again. I need to be much more efficient at this. Ouch. He totally bulldozed me. He used the Pokemon with bulldoze on me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many. They all need to die. I'm not gonna get a hundred more in nine seconds. No way. There's absolutely no way I can do this. 
Oh no! I can do this. What if I just use this move a lot? That's not actually killing them, is it? That was a waste of time. You know what I forgot I could be using is stuff like this. Yeah, that's good. And that. Or this. Well, two of them just died outright. But I don't seem to have actually hit anybody else. <laughs> so that only counted for two KOs. Here you go. Time to bomb some Gorongos. There weren't any Dodongos in Breath of the Wild, were there? Of all things. I don't think that Dodongo was in it. At least I never encountered a Dodongo. I think that was a complaint some people have had with Breath of the Wild, though, was that the enemy variety was too small. It's kind of just the same enemies over and over through the whole game. Which is especially annoying considering how big the world is in Breath of the Wild, right? There's so much space and yet you're seeing the same few enemies over and over. Which then kind of bleeds over into this game. I guess they tried to make more variety by having you do these training battles. <laughs> There was the book Coblins, there were, um, Lizalfos, there were Moblins, there were Lynels, there were Octoroks, there were Keys. What's on my end? Everything looks fine for my end. Does the stream look okay? Because everything's fine on my end. No dropped frames, nothing. Just 100% okay, as far as I can tell. I think I'm gonna have to stop this mission and try it again later because this is not working. I'm just not even getting close to beating enough enemies. Looks fine? Okay, good. Because somebody said it was on my end. So I was concerned. <laughs> wow, well, I get done reading, it's fine right now, and then it does the frame dropping thing. <laughs> I think Twitch just does that, Chroma, because, like, I'll watch Ash and it'll do the same thing.
the occasional buffering, I think, is just Twitch. Let's just go do the main story mission, shall we? Korok Forest. Sure, that's a fine set of characters. Risotto. Quite tasty! <laughs> the little voice clips. There they go. The king issued his first order to the Divine Beast pilots. Seek out the knight who could wield the sword that seals the darkness. This would require that they vanquish the monsters in Korok Forest, where Korok the Forest slept. All four of the pilots were to take part. Zelda, seeking data to help calibrate the Divine Beasts, accompanied them. As did Link, for he always stayed by the princess's side. When I was watching Arrow, too, it was also doing the buffering thing. My connection always seems otherwise fine, too, aside from the, the buffering on Twitch streams. Hyrule's king chose us to perform this pivotal task. It will be my honor to excel, as always. Then there's you. The one part that doesn't add up. <laughs> Why should this nobody be trusted to lead us in the coming battle? Mm. It doesn't matter who's the leader. We're all in this together, right? You are, of course, mistaken. My divine beast is the key. <laughs> really now? Your divine it makes beast? No sense. Well, my one comfort is that your reputation will be completely ruined once you fail. The fallen knight. <laughs> Ravali, how long do you expect us to put up with your prattle, huh? I've said enough. The time has come to show you what I'm made of. Now witness. Va Meadow's divine power. There it is. I just don't really watch streams often enough to say for sure. <laughs> Free in Korok Forest. Also, just before you got back, Chroma, I was discussing what all the enemies were in Breath of the Wild. And how people complain that there's too few of them. Oh my god, they will get wiped out. So I wish people, because, you know, like it's a really big game, there's a lot of space, but then you fight like the same few enemies over and over. So I was trying to think, okay, well what are all the enemies? And there was, there's Moblins and Bokoblins, right? And there's, um, there's Lizalfos. There's Octoroks, there's Keese, uh, there's Lionels, there's Hinox, there is uh, those rock dudes. That's, uh, I think that's maybe everything. <laughs> and there's like bone variations of them, of course. There's like a few variations of all of them, of course. But there's not very many of them for such a big game world. Wait, this thing is powerful. Oh, I see you can be first person. That's pretty cool. Oh, 
All right, let's get him. Boom. <laughs> they died. I think it was mostly just this game, um, Chroma, where it's so big and people complained that they were just fighting the same few things over and over. Uh, well, I guess there was the Guardians, too. I forgot about those, but... And there was, like, the little mini-Guardians, but those are only in the... the shrines. Like, you don't... F the enemy variety doesn't... is not as big of a problem, I think, in the other Zelda games. Whereas there's just not as many things you're expected to do overall. If that makes sense. <laughs> And, it's the, the, and I think another thing is this game doesn't even have all of the enemies from other Zeldas, you know? Like, if it at least just had all of the, the enemies that other Zeldas had... Oh, I also forgot about Wiz Robes. There's another one. Wiz Robes are in this. Like, maybe if they had Iron Knuckle and... And, uh, Like Like... And... What are those weird little things that, like, are in the sand? That spin around. Do you know those ones? I forget what they're called. Um, they could have had... Uh... Iron Knuckle? What was I gonna say? Those little guys... Oh, they could have had the tech Tektites, I think they're called. Those little spider guys that jump around. They could have had more of the bosses, like I was mentioning there's no Dodongos. They could have had, uh... They could have had Dodongo, they could have had Goma. <laughs> it would be needed if it felt like certain enemies lived in specific environments. Yeah, like... <laughs> I just feel like they could have done something better with the enemies. It just gets boring to fight the same things over and over, even if it's just a visual thing, you know? What are these outposts I'm supposed to be destroying? Oh, those things. Boy, I'm smart. I destroyed a few of them there. Almost destroyed Hyrule Castle while I was at it. <laughs> oh, I see now they're being pointed out to me. Thank you, game. We, I could have used that a bit earlier, huh? not being destroyed. There. That was sort of the main complaint. Well, I mean, that's a complaint that just happens with open world games a lot in general, right? That they feel kind of empty. Like it's a lot of, like, moving around between places. You know? with a lot of emptiness in between the things you do. If that makes sense. I mean, I enjoyed the scenery a lot in Breath of the Wild. And just like riding a horse through the nice countryside and looking at the environment. But I guess some people wanted more of Zelda. Zelda game. I thought we were supposed to be saving the forest, but I can just blast it to smithereens! There you go. There you go.
What theming? The having the different having more different kinds of enemies. Is that what you're talking about still? I presume. Wait, wait, no, I gotta destroy this. There you go. There. Oh, that's the end of the mission. Freeing Korok Forest. Ta da! Probably could have done that faster if I had realized what exactly I was supposed to be doing, but. <laughs> We're fine. Oh, hey, we're on our way to 6,000 overall views on the channel. That's pretty cool. They didn't have any ropes in this game. And by rope, I mean, you know, the enemy. If you blast away 90% of the forest, that's a lot less area you need to save. <laughs> yeah, but the poor little Korok's in there. <laughs> you destroyed my home. All clear over here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Being enemy placement be meaningful and specific. Oh, I see. <laughs> This guy again. What's he doing in the spooky forest? Being spooky, that's what. This is some good music. This is quite the fog. Are we even making progress? We could just be going in circles. Good point. If only someone could fly above and scout the way. As though I could see anything through this muck. Honestly, do you ever think before you speak? He's dancing. Being lost is the least of our worries. <sighs> if something attacked us, we wouldn't see it coming. Yes, we must be prepared for even the most unusual... <laughs> Ooh. There he is. Huh? The big Korok. Finally, finally, finally! Somebody sees me! Shakalaka! Oh? Where'd you come from? And who are you? Oh, me? I am the one who brings song and dance to Korok Forest! That's you! There he is. I remember this guy. A Korok? That's great! Mind guiding us through the fog, then? Shoko! I'd love to get home myself. Hmm. But there are scary, mean monsters in the woods, and I can't This isn't the voice them. you'd expect to come out of this, is it? You could probably sneak Though. right by <laughs> if you didn't have those noisy maracas. Oh, never mind him. We have business in the forest. If you lead the way, we can handle the monsters for you. <laughs> Incredible voice. <laughs> Incredible story. Are we getting the Master Sword? Shakalaka. Shoki doki? Actually, you can pass through here. Wow. Look at her face. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, there's the bone dudes I was talking about. Time to fight some bones. Ready for some bone noises. Not prepared for the bone noises? Whoa, the head is... Whoa! Forgot that they did that. Been a while since I played Breath of the Wild, okay? I played it the year it came out, mostly. Regular old keys. There. Now, come on! Die! <laughs> it's so hard to kill this one bat! There. Bone time. Bone time sixty four. Oh, he punched Hestu over the head. Totally spingest him. Stall Moblin. What a name. They should have just called it a Stoblin. Or a Scroblin? Even, perhaps? But nowhere else. Watch your step. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to be fighting these monsters. Oh, wait. No? No, never mind. I'm supposed to fight these monsters. Testu himself is the marker on the map. Gotcha. I can't wait to bomb some stall Lazolfos. This doesn't have the same ring to it. I wish there were Dodongos. However, Link could still eat an Octorok. Those are still here. <laughs> oh, I gotta fight these doofuses, huh? These absolute dinguses. Ouch, she kicked me. Can you not? Can you please don't? Do you think Hestu would kill, you know, as a joke? <laughs> I don't know. Boom. The bones are dead. I got a hot footed frog. Wait, what's that? It's Korok. <laughs> wow, there's a Korok in the Korok forest? Who would have thought? What is that? Oh. It's the bone... bone knocks. Bonox. What do you mean style knocks? No, this is a bone nox.
I fought one of these, well not the bone version of it, but uh, the Hinox off stream. How does this, you can electrocute bones? Bones can get electrocuted, huh? Just learning all sorts of new things on today's stream. Oh, fooey. There you go. Almost missed being able to do the that. Probably switch characters. I think I can switch characters. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, I didn't pull that off fast enough. However, I pulled this off. Yeah, this is good. Zelda has the best bomb. Oh, she went flying. Got him. Oh, did you just say Impa help? Impa's not even here. Let's do this again. Just cause... Ouch, she clapped me. There. This'll get him. There, done. The bones are dead. <laughs> Thunderbone, Foxtrot says. Bad Koroks get put in the bone box. <laughs> What's in this box? Apple. Can use that. Head for Korok. This was not Korok Forest? I thought this whole place was the Korok Forest. I guess this was technically the Lost Woods, huh? Oh, that looks lovely. It's Calamity Ganon's poop. The work of the Yiga clan, huh? Calamity Ganon took a big old dump right here. That's what this is. Oh, that's big. This place is big now, all of a sudden. You can now play as Hestu. I didn't expect that. Well, we will do that in just a minute. For now, I'm going to order him somewhere. Hestu, you can go there. Uh, Mifa, you can go there. And Link. You can go there. How did I end up gliding? Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> Gliding's fine. All's fine that glides fine. She leveled up. Cool. Oomst. That's interesting. <laughs> That's a new one. Time to take your picture. Bomb time.
<laughs> Aha! Now you've done it. Remember how we had to like carefully follow Hestu to figure out how to get through the forest? And now it's like, uh, never mind, you can just run around the whole thing by yourself. And it's fine. Oh. Fertilizer. <laughs> mud, huh? Air quotes around mud. Alright, let's switch to Hestu. Zelda, you can come here too. The, the walking sounds of Hestu! <laughs> it's incredible! Yahaha! Get ready for Yahaha! Oh my god. Look at him running! Oh, we got, uh... Bots in the chat. <laughs> Two generous offers, Chroma says. <laughs> Burnt. Defeat the hollow. That's what these are called, huh? Where are these pumpkins coming from? This is not a playable character I expected. Oh my god, what are they doing? They're throwing a bunch of crap everywhere. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my god. <laughs> the killer Koroks. I've never seen a Korok fight before. It's really something. Got him. Who should we play as now? I guess we'll play as Link again. And everybody else can come over here now. Or, well, not everybody. Alright, time for another hollow. Can't believe Daruk hollowed out. <laughs> Aha! You fool. I've got you covered now. Boom. Alright, you're done for. That one was way easy. <laughs> Link took care of that guy like he was nothing. Electric Moblin and their allies have appeared. Okay. Well, we're gonna play as Mifa now. And everybody's gonna come over here. To Mifa. Nobody even made it to Link in the first place, but. Yeah. Oh, Mifa's gonna fight her own hollow. Okay. Sounds fine. Oh, she even comments about it. <laughs> uh -oh. 
Wow, non-bone enemies, huh? These enemies are bone in instead of bone out. I think she still has my favorite of the the bombings. Oh wow! <laughs> Well, guess this one's taken care of now. <laughs> it is done. You are correct. Bella Swamp has completely disappeared. Only Link? Only Link can help! <laughs> There is no time. Your sword is enough. <laughs> Who is this guy? Fighting them again? Well, only in a cutscene. Presumably. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he just said, hmm. Right as I said, hmm. <laughs> Link's dead now. Link. Poor Link, he's dead. Actually, he's... what? I didn't know Link could do that. That's a new one. What, Link, what? Oh, Master Sword. The Master Spingus. Like how the Master Sword is like completely out of style with everything else in Breath of the Wild, but it looks like that just because the Master Sword just has to look like that. not at all in the same style as anything else in the game. A first classic Zelda tune. What? What? Oh my god, here we go. But it was almost, it teased us with some Zelda tune there. But it actually just went into its own song, I think. Wait, they're just going down like chumps now. Who is this man? Astor. Well, I got my my answer immediately. <laughs> well, we know he's gonna die because he's not in Breath of the Wild. Hmm. Well, you know how Nintendo is with things being branded nowadays. Of course, the Master Sword is just going to have a particular look now. It's the Master Sword, TM. Oh, 
Wow, these again, huh? I can't wait to bomb a Daruk Shadow. Just doesn't have the same ring. There needs to be some Dodongos. Why is it that Zelda CDI is the most quotable Zelda game? Like, you don't hear me going around quoting other Zelda games. I think it's just because of the voice acting. Well, I mean, even Breath of the Wild is voice acted too, but it doesn't have voice lines I quote. Well, actually, you know what? It does. Because I say, Daruk's protection is ready to roll! But that's only one. There's like several things I quote from CDA. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, this chump's about to go down. Not before I start going down. Whoa! My, <laughs> My mom was getting rid of some uh, empty bags of the rabbit's food and the rabbit came running over. Because he heard the, the sound of the bags. <laughs> he thought he was getting his food. Sorry, bunny. Those ones are empty. <laughs> hey there, little guy. He's looking at me now. Expectantly. <laughs> Probably because I'm the one who usually brings him his food. <laughs> Oh, it's not his main food, he mostly eats hay. He gets a little bit of pellets as a treat. CDI Zelda was a cornerstone of culture. <laughs> you wanna know what's funny? I've discussed this before, I don't think on stream. But, um... Apparently that game got, or the CDI Zelda games got good reviews at the time. They were praised for their animation and artwork in specific. And it wasn't until like the, the 2000s, of course, that uh, they started being thought of with such ire. Where they got their negative reputation and had all the memes made about them and everything. <laughs> Like, I don't know of anybody who thinks that those are good games now. Like, even those remasters that somebody made recently? The best I heard was that the games are tolerable now. <laughs> He's been shaking them since he was two years old. And it's like, you can sell these for a high price! <laughs> Great, thanks! Sell his, his precious maracas. I got a hard-boiled egg. Egg. Roma says... Honestly, I don't think they're all that awful. I think the main problem... I watched Vine Sauce play them. The main problem is that there's just nothing Zelda about them. It doesn't have any of the sound effects, none of the music. The art is, like, off. <laughs> there's... <laughs> And the bosses just die in one hit. They're poorly balanced and tonally dreadful, Chroma says. <laughs> Young hero, you have been chosen by the sword to wield its power and vanquish the calamity. The other problem with them, of course, was trying to play them originally. We would have had to use that spoon. You ever played a video game with a spoon? The pass will open for you soon. I see. Hand. Forgive me, 
A deep slumber beckons, and even I cannot refuse. The Great Deku Tree looks a lot like his Ocarina of Time appearance. To face whatever destiny awaits. Hyrule's fate is in your hands. Imagine if you got to play as the Great Deku Tree. Imagine if a message pops up, you can now play as the Great Deku Tree. <laughs> oh my god, what if it had, uh, you can now play as Luigi in this game? <laughs> You can now play as Luigi. Hestu, the musician of Korok Forest who loves to dance. He favors a set of maracas filled with Korok seeds. Some believe his dancing possesses mystical power. You, you, you're done? That's a lot of missions you just gave me, game. Let's see what I can do here. Shaky Shaka. Okay. There wasn't a lot of classic Zelda anything in Breath of the Wild. It was interesting. <laughs> yes, two, you are incredible. You are now required to play as Luigi. <laughs> well, that was Super Mario Galaxy, wasn't it? Like it says you can now play as Luigi, but you have to if you want to 100% the game. Hestu is just utterly incredible. Did you just say Jesus? <laughs> Jesus confirmed real in Zelda. Did you know that um, the religion in Zelda was initially intended to be Christianity? There's artwork that uh, suggests as much from as late as uh, the link to a link to the past. They had still been planning that. There's a link to the past artwork that shows uh, Link praying to Jesus in a church. Need more bull goblins, huh? Need more whiz robes. Probably gonna call it good for Hyrule Warriors here pretty soon. I wanna make sure we get some good time for Half-Life 2 before the Christmas stuff. I would like to give that game a good start. Can't quite do that. Well, oh my god, I'm young. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, we looked at all those. Well... I'll probably continue to play this on my own a bit. Between, uh... Now and next week. Um, and we'll continue playing some more of this. I hope everybody's been enjoying streams of Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> I've been, been enjoying playing the game. Um, it's been fun to share it on stream. <laughs> um, for now, I'm going to turn the stream off for a little bit and move over to playing game on my computer instead of capture card. Chroma says, even now Christianity isn't exactly pervasive in Japan, so it's legitimately neat. Yeah, they like to use it uh, as far as I know, as sort of like a reference. Like, they seem to be fascinated with um, the concept of it. And like, because to them it's like a foreign religion, you know? 
So <laughs> it makes it interesting as like a concept for um, the spirituality in uh, their works. And it's interesting to see the ways that they interpret it as well, because I think Bess was telling me about, um, I think it was Evangelion, the angels that are in that, I think they're called, and they're just like really weird creatures. And they're sort of more, you know, remember there was the meme with the biblically accurate angels thing? <laughs> the the quote-unquote angels in that are sort of more in line with that sort of version of angels, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, as mentioned, I'm going to get everything set up, and we're going to play Half-Life 2 for the very first time. Well, my first time, obviously. I don't know if people watching probably have seen Half-Life 2 before. Well, in fact, I've seen it before, I just I have not played it. <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of people have played this game. But this will be my first time, so I will...